There are several different ways to create a spreadsheet that will allow us to track our trades. No matter how we decide to do it, it's important to ensure that we actually take the time to set one up for several reasons. Obviously, it's vital to have a good understanding of what we're doing and if our investments are actually working. We can't have a clear picture on what's happening with our money unless we keep track of the trades we're executing. In addition, there are tax implications based on the profits and losses we make trading these cryptocurrencies. If we make profits, that has to be reported. However, losses can also be deducted, and if we hold any investment for more than a year, this would qualify as long-term capital gains. What you're seeing here is the sheet I designed, which gives me the ability to track all the coins I wish. I have to set the values of each coin to update automatically, so my profits and losses are seen in real time. This, of course, is not my real sheet, but just an example sheet I have created for others to use and get started with. Evaluating other people's sheets, I see most people like to list the coin by table and then list all the places they own that coin. For example, instead of saying Coinbase here, they would list Bitcoin and then list all the exchanges or locations they have their Bitcoin and the corresponding values. It makes sense, but when doing it this way, I was always trying to figure out how much money I had at each location, and I kept having to physically log in to check that. So creating this sheet, my ultimate goal was to track everything in one place. When creating a spreadsheet, one of the first and most important steps is to consider how we want to track our returns. Do we want to track returns in terms of dollars, or do we want to track in terms of Bitcoin? Ultimately, I like to think of my wealth in terms of dollars, so I have set my sheet to track mainly in dollars. The IRS also thinks in terms of dollars, so when it comes to reporting, it's critical to have dollar figures. However, as a secondary figure, I also want to know in terms of Bitcoin, so I have set that up as well. Looking at the sheet, the light blue shaded area references the coin and the shares I own. The light green shaded area represents my returns in terms of dollars, and the orange shaded area represents my returns in terms of Bitcoin. Coinbase and Gemini are brokers where I convert my dollars into Bitcoin or Ethereum and vice versa. For these main coins, I don't need to track returns in terms of Bitcoin. For one, Bitcoin is already in Bitcoin, so nothing to do there. It would really just be tracking Ethereum, which I don't really care about. For these two exchanges, I only care about dollars. Coming down to the lower section, we can see all the alternative coins I'm invested in. I have the current price in dollars, the current market value, which is the price times the number of coins I own, then cost, which is just what I paid for these coins in terms of dollars, my P&L, which is subtracting my cost from the current market value, and then my return, which is my P&L divided by my cost. On the Bitcoin side, it's basically the same thing, just in terms of Bitcoin. I then have all my totals for all investments at the top in yellow, both in dollars and in Bitcoin. I have also set up a quick reference ticker so I can easily see the price of the coins I set in terms of dollars. This is just how I do it, and if you like this method, I've left this sheet for you to download and start out with. I'm also going to show you how to set up this sheet based on your own coins. It's not that hard if you know what to do. The first thing is to get the API link from coinmarketcap.com. There are other sources to get updated prices, but I find CoinMarketCap to be the easiest to work with and has the most coins listed. I have included the API link right here. This coins link will allow us to make a coins page that includes all the data per coin from CoinMarketCap, just like the ones we see here. This page does have everything, but we can't reference it directly because as values change, so does the order of the coins listed. And Excel won't know if a coin in one row has suddenly moved to another. But this page is still key so that we can get the ID for each individual coin we trade. I'm going to go ahead and delete my current coins page and create it again from scratch to demonstrate how this is done. To do so, first copy the API link and then click the Data tab at the top of Excel and then select New Query, From Other Sources, then From Web. Now we just paste in the URL we copied and click OK. Rename the query to anything you want. 
I'll call mine CMC for coin market cap. Then we click on the list and convert it into a table. When the pop-up box comes up, just click OK. Now click the two little arrows here and then click OK. This will load everything into the table. From here, just click Close and Load and the new sheet will be created. Here, we can name the new sheet anything we want. I like to go with the name Coins. I then move the sheet over to the third spot as it will be one that I am referencing quite frequently. This sheet will provide us with the coin market cap ID for each specific coin, allowing us to reference an updated price for that coin in a cell dedicated only to that coin. Now let's add a new coin to the list. To do so, we want to copy this link again and then decide on a coin we want to reference. Most of these are just the name of the coin, but others are a bit different. For example, Gollum is Gollum Network Tokens. For this example, how about we import NEO? Let's start a new query just like we did before, from a web page. However, this time we want to add the coin ID to the end of the URL. So for NEO, we just add NEO to the end of the URL and click OK. Once inside this query area, just click on Record, then come up to the top area and select the Into Table button, and then Close and Load, and a new page will be created dedicated to NEO. Then I will name the Sheet tab NEO. I want to come back to my Balances page, and anywhere I want the NEO price to appear, I reference the NEO page I just created. Let's assume I purchased 10 NEO coins on Bittrex. To insert the NEO price that will automatically update, insert an equal sign into the cell, then come over to the NEO page just created and select the dollar value of NEO and press Enter. This will automatically fill in the price of NEO on the Balances page. I then update my other figures to account for the position. I then come over to the Bitcoin side and do the same thing. My sheet has been updated. Anytime I want to refresh the prices, I can just click the Refresh All button on the ribbon and all the prices throughout this sheet will be updated. I can also set this sheet to update at any time by selecting Connections, then Properties on any coin, and then when I desire to have the price updated. Personally, I like to just have mine updated when I open the file. Moving back to the sheet, I still need to change the color of this new row. I like the Altering Colors formula, which I have included right here. To demonstrate this really quickly, I'll come over to the Transaction page. This part is already done, so let me find a new spot just to demonstrate how this works. Select the area where the alternating colored rows should go. Make sure you're on the Home tab, then select Conditional Formatting, New Rule, select Use a Formula to determine which cells to format, then paste in the formula that was just copied, Select the Format button and then the Fill tab. Decide on the desired color and then click OK. There you have it. Not a necessary step, but I think a nice easy way to make a good looking, easy to read page. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration on how to make a spreadsheet to track your coin investments. You're more than welcome to alter the page any way you need to in order to fit your own style. Remember to pick up your free cryptocurrency trading course and learn how to find those coins that are just about ready to pop in value at CryptoInvestingInsider.com.